this song. <laughs> It is. It's a theme song written by Alan and Marilyn Bergman and David Shire for a show I was on for nine years on CBS Television. It was quite an experience. I was very young when it started, of course. And I had a son who was ten and a half, and we went all the way until he was almost 20. And with reruns, I think we've raised about three generations of kids, children of single parents, mainly single mothers. Alice was uh, a representative of 80% of all the women who work in this country in blue and pink collar jobs. Alice was gutsy and hopeful and spirited and stuck in a place from which she always hoped to survive, get out of, and still kept her sense of humor, her diligence, sang in little clubs around town, you know, Vinnie's House of Veal, <laughs> a classy place. Worked for a guy who didn't get it. And Alice was part of the revolution uh, of women and single mothers who finally stood up and said, we want equality. So Alice raised me. Alice gave me a chance to go out and do something I had never done, to speak to people about the issues of their lives. I was invited to go to places, uh, state capitals. I had no idea how to do this. I was an actor after all. I had never been a public speaker. Or a, or a political person. So she politicized me, and I found myself eventually at a great Labor Day rally at the Washington Memorial on the same stage with Pete Seeger in my Alice uniform, because I figured if I didn't know how to talk to people, all I had to do was wear that pink uniform and that would speak for me. She changed my life. Used to be sad, used to be shy. 